What's up guys, Supergeek here and today I'm going to tell you how you can customize virtual desktop on Windows 11. Virtual desktop is a pretty nice feature which Microsoft released back in Windows 10 and uh, this feature lets you create different workspaces for your different needs like for work, for play, even for entertainment. You can create uh, any number of virtual desktop and choose them how you want it to, to be. So Microsoft kept that feature in Windows 11 as well. And as you can see, and this virtual desktop feature is right here. And the best part is that you can customize these virtual desktop in Windows 11. In Windows 10, uh, there was no such feature. All the desktop look exactly the same, but what you can do in Windows 10, you can customize the background. So you can easily differentiate between which workspace you are currently on. So that's a pretty nice feature and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first I'm going to show you how to create. So if you hover over this uh, virtual desktop feature, you can see it shows you all the current virtual desktop created. And what you can do is you can create one from here or you can just click on it and it will show you a bar at the bottom and you can create a new desktop just like so and you can create as many as you want but i'm going to work with these four so let's do that first so if you click on that task view feature you get your virtual desktop or you can use windows tab on your keyboard to bring that virtual desktop up and now i'm going to show you how you can customize that so once you bring that virtual desktop bar what you can do is you can customize the name so how you can do that just click on these titles on the top just like so and enter whatever you want to write on that i'm going to go with work and i'm going to go with this one and i'm going to rename it to what game so just like that you can rename your desktop so just like that you can rename your desktops and uh, you can also use right click context menu to rename those see you can rename those and once you rename that uh, you can also change the desktop backgrounds so all you have to do is just right click on those uh, you want to change the background of whichever virtual desktop just Click on choose background, go to backgrounds, select the background that you want and that's it. See background has been changed. I'm going to go with work and to change the background just right click choose background. Select the one you want and that's it. There you go. Now you can change the backgrounds of the virtual desktop and it will stay the same unless you delete that desktop so it's a pretty nice feature and you can easily differentiate between your workspaces you don't have to guess which one is which and you can easily differentiate between them using the desktop wallpaper so that's a pretty nice feature one more amazing feature which i found in windows 11 is that the windows orientation stays the same whenever you move them between virtual desktop so if i have these uh, apps like right here and if i switch the desktop and open more apps so if i'm going to do that and go to virtual desktop you can see that my virtual desktop has these snapped windows so as you can see, if you move them between desktops, see, the orientation stayed the same. So that's a pretty nice feature. You don't have to rearrange the apps again and again. You just have to drag them and it will work just fine. I'm going to show you that again. So let's, let's do that again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these apps to that desktop as well. And I'm going to do this. 
now let's see if if these app stays the same oh that's pretty nice see yeah i created a masterpiece all right so if i move these apps okay what happened see these the arrangement stayed the same that's 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 pretty neat that's pretty neat so if i move these here the arrangement is still the same so that's a pretty neat feature from windows 11 and uh, that's it for now guys hope you like the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one